welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making that delectable looking pan seared shrimp with confetti veggie orzo. Now this one's so simple to make, you can probably throw it together in less time than it would take to get fast food. But it looks upscale enough to serve to company. So who wants to come for dinner? The question is, who wouldn't want to come over for dinner when there's a beautiful dish like this? And it's extremely simple to make. We'll start out by seasoning the shrimp. And you want about three or four ounces of shrimp per person, peeled, deveined, and I left the tail on for presentation. Then toss them together with a little olive oil and either sambal sauce or your favorite chili sauce. Then set them aside while we make the orzo. And I've got 12 ounces of gluten-free orzo, which is a small rice-shaped pasta. But before we drop it into the boiling water, you've got to have all your veggies prepped and ready to go. And I've got a small onion, a carrot, zucchini, and stalk of celery, all about a quarter inch dice. A few cloves of chopped garlic, and off to the side, I've got a half cup of frozen peas that'll go in at the end. Now add some salt to the boiling water, then add the orzo, and make sure to stir periodically or it will clump together. And we'll only be cooking this for half the time it stays on the package, and then we'll finish the cooking in the broth with the veggies. Now in a wide skillet over a medium high heat, add two tablespoons of butter, then toss in all the veggies except for the peas, and saute for about four or five minutes or until the veggies just start to wilt and develop a bit of color. And once the orzo is half cooked, drain it and add it right to the pan with the veggies. Then add a cup and a half of chicken broth to start and a half cup of white wine. Now continue to simmer and stir this for another five minutes or so to allow the orzo to finish cooking in the broth. And you'll want to add the peas about three minutes before the orzo is done to keep them bright. And you may need to add up to a cup or so more broth if at any point during the cooking process, the bottom of the pan starts to get dry before the orzo gets tender. And once it's fully cooked, right before serving, add another tablespoon of butter and maybe a splash of heavy cream if you want to add a little more luxury. Top it with a little fresh parsley if you want, and set this aside while we make the shrimp. Now add some oil to a large cast iron skillet over a fairly high heat. Then add the shrimp and saute for a minute or two on the first side. Then turn them over and let them go for a minute on the second side. Then take them out of the pan so they don't overcook, and we can plate the dish. And once you've got a nice pile of orzo spooned onto your plate, you can crown it with a few of these spicy shrimp, and this quick, delicious luxury meal is ready to eat. And let me tell you folks, when my daughter took a quick pic of this and put it on Instagram with the caption, my mama's the best, my day suddenly got as bright as the meal itself. And if you'd like to print a copy of today's quick, easy recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.